Hey yo, my planet coaster friends, Johnny Five Alive here, and I'm joined with Zelixor. Hello again. Welcome back to another park spotlight. Today we're gonna be looking at Sojawan in Cambodia's jungle created by Erebus, one of our Discord master builders. And here they say, Hey there, Channel 5 crew. This park was created together with Maddie PP for the Nexus Duo contest. Thought I would submit it here as well. A lost Cambodian temple has recently re rediscovered Sojawan features. Uh, high thrilling speed coaster and indoor flat ride with its own special effects shown as well as calming boat ride through the swampy jungle explore the temples and enjoy the jungle the coaster was built using four meter autocomplete technique to ensure a smooth seat view also make sure to download the pictures and the screenshots it's only a few looks like we have to reload the entire part <sighs> please download these two pictures okay downloading we'll be right back All right, welcome back everyone. We have the two images and we are ready to rock. So this one was created by, as mentioned, um, Erebus, er er Erebus and Maddie PP. So uh, this was for the Nexus Duo Contest, which is a 62 by 62 size park. And uh, for context, our contest that we're working on is 40 by 40. So this goes a little bit bigger than what we requested. And um, their their whole contest was to do one themed ride, one themed park area, and one themed flat ride. So, yeah. and you got paired up with a yes. another random person, basically. A random person, absolutely. Yeah. But with that said, I mean we 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 are allowing outside terraforming with waterfalls and a couple buildings. So we might actually end up seeing landscapes similar to this size in our park contest yeah. but um this this gives more room for one sprawling coaster yeah that's looking really cool yeah, because 60 by 60 is way bigger than 40 by 40 because mm -hmm. it's right. squared yeah it is scenery oh wow that is so that's the image i downloaded i imagine that's a cool image <laughs> worth it worth it so, check that out. Oh. oh my goodness. Okay, let's get off. <laughs> cool. Really nice images, actually. Mm -hmm. I like the uh, lots of buildings. I mean, look at this temple. It's got Nicely a integrated similar in style to one that I've featured uh, last week, or I don't know when you guys would have saw them. It's called Yek Farm. It was created by um, uh, yeah. Neat, Neat Melvin. It's kind of a similar mm -hmm. build style. Something we've seen recently. Sojoan Ride. Well, let's check out the main attraction. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so these, these uh, duo contest videos are probably going to fly through them. We have a few more, and we want to showcase as many as possible before we start our contest. So I'm trying to get out as many as I can showcase uh you know what wix did over there on the nexus community and what everyone worked on over there and you know it's not like end to end parks we have multiple coasters it's one coaster per episode plus some scenery and a, and a ride so we can get through them pretty quick uh shorter park spotlights than what we're used to but that's quite okay yeah it's been a bit of a thing uh the last couple of uh episodes right yeah so mini parks we try to throw in some big ones in there too yeah so this is Sojo on the ride, launch Copperhead Strike. There's a look at the stats, tolerable G-forces. Good, let's go.
<laughs> Definitely some length of that. I didn't even check the length on that. Right. 2,000 meters. It had a bit of a dark ride elements there, and then I thought, like, before we went into the dark ride, I thought we were ending off the coaster, then we got through the dark ride, I thought we were ending off the coaster, and then boom, launched another exploration. Definitely stretches out across the whole map. That's a yeah. nice length on that. And the scenery was amazing. Absolutely. I yeah. love that, like, rubble and broken down temple we went through, like, mm -hmm. really early on. It's Just a really at nice... Night time. Yeah, so with the nature of the way I've seen some of the Nexus contest submissions so far and the couple that I've peeked at over at uh, Wix's channel there, uh, we see that a lot of this where the center plaza is in the middle, so you basically come down through the entrance and you can see every walkable area throughout here. I haven't seen all the creations, maybe some are a little bit different, but then the coaster kind of spans on the outside. So we did get to experience the whole park from the coaster's point of view, but from the actual... Oh, yeah, from the actual uh, rider perspective, you don't have a whole lot to explore in terms of shops and flat rides, as the only flat ride that was requested was one, and then we have a little bit of shopping here. So there's not a whole lot to look around and see, unfortunately, but it's also, um, it, it's, you know, there's just as much content here as you would expect from like an exploration coaster spotlight, right? Yeah. So that's the exit. So, I mean, it's still a pretty good episode nonetheless, and I love to check these out and see what everyone has done. So we have a few more in store, and it looks like some people have been submitting them as coasters, not parks. So we're going to have to fish through that as well and see if we can convert them over to the park section and uh, catch them. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's a bit tricky looking through it and figuring out which ones were p specifically for the Nexus Duo contest, but we're going to try to grab as many as we can and feature them before our contest kicks off so you can, guys can get an an idea of what these like mid-sized mini parks uh, can be accomplished. But with ours, we're, uh, we're asking for more flat rides, more coasters, and more uh, service area for walking around than this one, but with less space. <laughs> so it's, it's definitely interesting. I think the both, uh, they, there are some comparisons to draw between both contests, but there's something that sets them apart as well. So uh, I like to see these before going into ours so we can actually see the, the direct differences between them. But really good job here from uh, Erebus and Maddie PP uh, on this creation. I, mean, I, the, I love the buildings. I mean, it's really, really great job. And also it says on the uh, Steam Workshop, some of the smaller watts were built by Sublines. So, Sublines, okay. shout out to you for helping out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, that, no, that temple right there was I mean, 4K. It's, right, it's like recognizable the, what the theme is, and it's yeah, it's wonderfully done. Absolutely, and the great uh, foliage work, the trees, all that stuff, yeah. the scenery, even the backdrop mountain, even though it's like flat on one side. <laughs> Yeah. It's still really cool. Yeah, it is. And and uh, with our contest, uh, you see, with this one, you are not allowed to build outside the borders. So you'll actually be able to see this kind of stuff in our contest that goes further out, because we said you can terraform beyond the borders, but you just can't build back there. So our yeah. borders are going to uh, keep the park encompassed, but we're still going to get landscapes and vistas. And the reason we decided to go that route is so when we zoom out, we can kind of see an integral park with a background and, and layout. So when you're going up coaster lifts and stuff, you don't see, you know, the flat backgrounds and it just gives you a little bit to work with which uh should make for some interesting spotlights and we avoid that kind of square cut off pad look yeah. so from a bird's although eye, here on the coaster you, you never saw that no you you don't and that's because they built it smart like the way they've yeah. brought the the cliff edges up just uh you know you're encompassed and engulfed by all these tall tall backdrops so yeah. they, they did a really good job at uh, utilizing this 60 by 60 square space and hiding all the background like uh flaws and you're so low to the ground where everything is just cutting off the background just enough so it's really yeah. cool yeah what did you guys think leave your comments down below for Erebus and Maddie BP and also uh go check out the uh, Wix's channel for the Nexus dual contest if you want to see more of these see the full contest it's all on Wix's YouTube page I'll put a link down in the description below boom all right thank you guys so much for watching hope you have a wonderful day and we will see you in the next park spotlight bye now bye now